Today I'll be making the silly face emoji. I'm going to use this tape here to help create the circle shape. And you can use anything that you have, maybe a cup, a plate, whatever you can find that's circular. And there we go. The next thing I'm going to do is actually start with the mouth. So the mouth is almost halfway. If we make a dot in the center right there, you can see it's close to that. So I'll make a dot here just so I can get the positioning right, just in the center of my circle. And I'll go just below that and start making the mouth shape. I'm going to use a ruler to create a straight line for the top of the mouth. And then I'm going to make the bottom of the smile. Now the top isn't really straight, so I'm going to lightly erase that, use it as a reference, and kind of go a little bit downwards just to make a little bit of a curve. Okay, and I'm going to actually make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And we can erase anything that we don't want there anymore. Erase that line a little bit better. The next thing we're going to do is start with the eyes. Now again, if you have something small and circular that you can trace, feel free to use that. I'm just going to make the circles here. There's my first one. I'm going to make a smaller one at the bottom here. I'm going to make the teeth. So I'm just going to use the mouth as a reference kind of make a copycat line go down and then i'm going to make that line over here for the teeth and then i'm going to do the tongue and the tongue is actually a straight line going this way here And then I'm going to erase everything within the tongue, all those lines. And that's our basic drawing. Now we can start adding all the fun details, all the shadows, the highlights. So let's get started. Now this is a pencil drawing, so we'll be doing all that with pencil. You can always do the same thing using pencil crowns and add some colors. Now there's a little bit of a shadow in the eyes, so very lightly with my pencil, I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow around the inside of my eyes and then we're going to smudge it out. Now we can smudge it out using a tissue or we can just use a smudging stick if you have one of those. I'm going to show you with a smudging stick. Here it is. I'm just going to add the shadow here. It's a 
little bit intense. I'm just going to erase it to make it a little bit lighter. If you have any smudging that went outside the eye, you can just take your eraser and just erase that. Okay. Let's move on to the mouth. Now the teeth should be white, but there's just a light shadow on the sides showing that it's curving a little bit. So we're just gonna add that. And then we're gonna start the inside of the mouth. just going to shade along the edges because that's where the darkest areas will be especially along the top of the mouth here Also really dark at the bottom of the teeth. I'm actually going to shade just this line here. And now I'm going to leave this area white because we're just going to blend it out after. So I'm going to use my smudging stick again just to soften all these dark areas and to blend them out. Take this and smudge the pencil into this area here. Make it a little bit darker. Now we're going to do the tongue. So I'm going to go down the middle here first. And we're just going to kind of darken the top. Take 
pencil. I'm going to just lightly add some shadow to the edges here. Take our smudging stick and do the same. Now, if you don't have a smudging stick you can, and you don't have a tissue or you find the tissue a little bit too hard to use, you can also use a Q-tip. The Q-tip will work great. I'm just going to go in and make sure the highlight is there properly. So with the highlight, you almost want to make the letter U here. So I'm going to add it back in with the eraser and then take my smudging tool and just blend it out along the edges only. Kind of like that. Okay, so now we just have the outside of the face to do. So we're going to go ahead and add some shadow along the inside of the circle. All the way around. Our next area of shadow will be around the tongue here. We're just going to darken the tongue just a little bit in this area so you can see the difference of where the tongue is and where the face is. We're just going to darken some of these spots here. Okay. I'll just go ahead and smudge that in just a little bit. The next area you want to add a little bit more shadow to. It's going to be where the cheeks would be. And then also along the lower area here of the circle. So you can go in and just make this area a little bit wider all the way up to the cheeks, right over here. We'll do the same on this side. And then we'll start smudging. So what I'm going to be doing is really looking where the dark areas are on the emoji and just darkening those areas on my picture by blending out the pencil. Now there should be a little highlight around the mouth. So I'll go back with my eraser and then make sure that's there. So 
So make sure to leave that little white line around the mouth. We're gonna go just in here under the eyes, just a little bit, blending it into the white. We'll do the same on this side. Just a little bit, blending it into the white. Just add a little bit more here. We blend out a little bit more evenly. Now if you want, you can go back around the edge of the circle, kind of just outlining it, making it a little bit darker. And that's it. There's our emoji.